Hi guys, uh, here we are on the fourth lot of people's golf club and we're going to discuss about how important balance is. So this video is towards the, the higher handicap golfers and the senior golfers. So balance is probably one of the most important aspects for creating power and consistency throughout your golf swing. Balance is so important from the ground up the way to connect, to connect, have the correct movements and the connect transfer of weight. So what we want in the backswing, so as we take the club back, we want to load our our lead our lead side on the way down, but we want, first of all we want to load our trail leg, so we we'll go the weight goes right and then the left. So that creates all that power. But what we need to understand is the power comes from the ground up the way. So these people that have their feet off the ground, a lot of folk do that because they have restricted rotation, so their shoulders aren't they can't rotate their shoulders enough or their hips. But I suggest that you understand how the kinetic chain works. So from the ground up the way you create all that power, that's how all these golfers create so much power throughout the golf swing. They use the ground up so they squat into the ground and then it starts from the ground up so it starts in their hips and then their shoulders anyway. So what you need to get into habit is trying to introduce that into your game. So what I mean by that is when people get to the top of the back swing and they lose, they lose rotation, so their lower, bodies, their lower body moves excessively. So what you need to understand is you concentrate on your leg and feet movement. So your leg and feet movement should support the rotation of the trunk, the torso and the hips. So if you don't have that support from the, from the ground up the way, you are going to have quite rigid knees. So a lot of the senior golfers that I coach, what they do is they don't create much, much coil on the backswing because they, they're quite straight legged. Their knees, their knees are locked, so from here, their knees are quite rigid and that hampers rotation. So they've got to use their body. They don't use their lower half, they just use their upper half to hit the correct shot. So, what you need to do is try and use the ground up the way. So, I've got a good drill for you. So, as you take the club back, feel like you're bouncing in. So, feel like you're bouncing into the ground. So, squat. This will feel the coil. This will enhance a, a coil feeling or a sensation of when you go back to the, the right side on the way back and then you come down the weights goes from your right side into your left side and you'll create so keep that bounce so you can maintain that 90 degree angle between your, your hamstring and the back of your knee so what i want you to do is pretend that you're throwing something so take your lead arm and what i want you to do is good, have a good golf posture i'm not going to hit any shots here i'm just going to do the movement so take your lead arm i'm not going to throw anything here but i want you to try and get in, into the sensation it bounce back and forward so from your left to your right side try and get that feel that sensation of the weight going right then left and then blah blah or, or etc sorry and as you go back feel the coil on your right arm and your right side and as you come back down so as you come back down your weight transfers from your right side to your left side on the down, on the transition from the back swing to the down swing but what i want you to feel that like you're doing is as you come through you, you maintain posture and as you come through your belt buckle is facing the target, your shoulders are facing the target, and your eyes are facing the target. So, from this position, I want, from here, so, I want you to use the, the ground more, so from the ground more, keep your feet on the ground, push up, from here, transfer weight from the right side into the left side, toes off the ground, heel off the ground, or the toes pointing down into the ground, and the heels off the ground. I want you to repeat that motion by getting this right foot off the ground, you will effectively be able to transfer your weight from the right side, to the left side and you won't be falling back in it so if my right foot stays on the ground my weight stays stationary on that foot and if i push off that ground the weight goes from the right side into the left side so if that's helpful for you then um, let me know your thoughts in the video if you found my tips helpful subscribe to my channel at jamie allen golf it's free subscription or follow me on two social media platforms on facebook and twitter at jamie allen golf thank you